least it's before going to be the best in ball in WWE history. So they are trying to make the history on WWE before going to the base in ball in London match. I enjoyed a lot of watching this and I hope you also enjoyed after getting the information from me. Ladies and gentlemen, ab nahi karna hai jada wait. Ab koi dikkat nahi lene ka. Just do whatever you want. Just do what your heart said to you. Chalo, matha garam nahi karte, baat ko fata fata kaam pe dikha dete. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to our Hengxiong YouTube channel. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I mean to say it. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Drew McIntyre Well his luck change this coming Saturday at Base in Berlin CM Punk Drew McIntyre will be tied together in the wrist with a leather with a leather strap you can use this strap as a weapon. You must drag your opponent around the ring. Touch all four corners in succession in order to win this match. Where Corey McIntyre wins. Where Corey and Mac wants to. In Pong. Once and for all. This is rivalry has grown to such an intensely personal level. Both of these superstars will be lucky to be lucky to leave bowling without permanent damage. Boy, is it great to be alive in Providence? Road Age land on a mountain right or what? I can keep going. I know Pong's world routine. He's so predictable. The next part is when he walks about his favorite topic. See him Pong for 10 straight minutes. Then how hard the industry is right now. How we are sailing out souls all across the world. Like he had anything to do with it. He wasn't sitting in his ass for 8 years. While the rest of us did the hard work. Then the sentimental part. Where he tells a story about how little team he flew to lack 39,000 miles from the moon to worship his Lord and Savior. CM Punk, do I have your attention now? I'm not doing a beat, I'm not trying to be cute. I'm doing what I always do. I'm telling the truth. And the truth is, CM Punk is scared of Drew McIntyre. Or you don't believe me. Well, I have known since the Royal Rumble, especially SummerSlam, how about the fact he kept it. Attacking me from behind every opportunity that he gets and why does he keep going if he is so scared? It's because you all keep chanting his name every single week. Do you all know what an anvil is? Of course you don't. Let me explain it to you. An enabler is someone that encourages someone to do something that's detrimental to their well-being. 
It's like handling an alcoholic a drink. Every time you chant Pong's name, he gets his big ego. He gets full of himself. He makes dumb decisions like challenging me to a strap match. Then when he sobers up, he realizes, oh my god, Drew's gonna kill me and I am. And that's gonna be in all of you that chanted his name every time. I lash him with this trap. That's on your conscience. If you chant at CM Punk, every scar that I put on his body, you are gonna have to leave with that. You are choosing nostalgia over the warrior that's always been there for you during the darkest times. And I still forgive you because you don't know not what you do. It's funny, this 50 shank piece of trash on my wrist causes so much emotional hot to punk and it's ironic that the weapon he chose to fix to my wrist on Saturday is gonna cause cause him so so much physical heart because I'm gonna last him again cast cloak case stop punk in his track for the moment Classical keys is top punk in his track for the moment and punk bounced off Estrella's steps and no McIntyre taking control bouncing punk off the announce table. Why wait till Saturday? The points on tonight. McIntyre looking to gain an upper hand before we get to bowling. One of the most emotionally charged revelers we have ever been a part of. We are at on an all time high right now. You better gift your Tate Funk. McIntyre coming for it at playback. A scrap in hand. Punk threw pawns of McIntyre to the table. And now Pong with a scrap in hand and he's going to offer McIntyre and now Pong with the scrap in hand and he's going after McIntyre. Think to what it's gonna look like on Saturday. Think to what it's gonna look like on Saturday. Pong raving the hell out of McIntyre. That is chasing. That seeking, that sickening sounds of leather against flesh echoing throughout the arena tonight. And now a whole of security guards have come out here to separate these two men. And now a whole of security guards have come out here to separate these two men. Drew McIntyre retreating. You are gonna need more than a couple security guys to separate these two maniacs. Through the air and now Pong is unloading on the security guards with a scrap. That's gonna cost him a few bucks. CM Pong lying west to the local security staff in Providence. Listen to that. I hope this young man gets hazard play. Hazard play. Pong is out of his mind. Back into a retreating. It's a chase. It's a case of self preservation tonight. But come Saturday, it's a whole different story. But come Saturday, it's a whole different story. There will be no retreat. Because Drew McIntyre is gonna be strapped to CM Punk. 
that is crab around the wrist of each man. They can use this crab as a weapon. Is the time to touch all four curbs, bolts in succession in a scrap match at best in bowling. It's personal, it's anything we have ever been a part of. It's personal, it's anything we have been part of. These two superstars don't just dislike each other. This isn't about the paycheck. It's about pure on brilliant this time. CM Pong and Dream McIntyre can't explain in the same place any longer. Salary is going to be ugly. I'm not sure if tonight Big Bronson Reed and Braun Strowman can coexist in the same place. Let's see what Braun Strowman thinks about the battle of the Behemoth tonight. You think you are somebody because you put Seth Rollins on the shelf? Braun Reed absolutely out of control. It's a tough guy now. I'm a tough guy now. You are talking about you are gonna bully me? Let me remind you, I'm not a child and this is on the playground anymore. Because when you stay put in that ring with me tonight, you are gonna find out why they call me the monster of all monsters. Okay. The new Warrior Champion is coming soon. Look though. Please. Hit my music. That ball had excuse everywhere. Let's go. Come on, Grants. Master Saves not here, so you can eat tonight. For all the more reason, I'm gonna stay seated. You are right. If my old ass can do this, you can. Come on, it's good for the soul. You have known me. You have known me long enough. Can you imagine if Master B was doing this? After all that, genius Nace is doubling. I'm surprised Master B is made it across the pond. Has anyone checked on him lately? The following is a first round triple treat match. Of the Intercontinental Championship number one. Contestant to no man. Introducing past. From San Francisco, California. Weighing it at 245 pounds. 242 pounds. Madison. Musa. You know what? Paul, let me try this. Let me see what the hype is about. No one saw me on camera like Masha Maccabi. Yeah, but you stole this top light from Mega Bench. Look at that. Am I doing it right? They are like you got it. We will read next. I have you heard a beautiful moment for this. It's before going to be the best in ball in WWE history. So they are trying to make the history on WWE before going to the base in ball in London match. I enjoyed a lot of watching this and I hope you also enjoyed after getting the information from me. Thanks for watching and thanks for... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Do subscribe and... Hit the bell icon to get notifications fast. Keep supporting us. Thank you. Thank you very much.